Let's remind ourselves a little bit about the vowels. Vowels all have in common that the vocal cords here are close together and causing a vibration in the air. Now I've indicated this with this little, these little blue circles. You'll see later on that there's rather a lot of blue on some of the pictures but here I've just indicated it starting off. The air is coming up the trachea through the vocal cords which are coming together as we've talked about before starting to vibrate and the vibrating air will be moving up into the other spaces of the vocal tract. Okay so here we have vocal cords coming together we have the tongue lying quite flat in the mouth this is a, approximately the position for the vowel ah uh, as in tart please note example words using the ordinary alphabet are placed in angled brackets butter phonemic transcriptions that illustrate the sound of a word without indicating articulation are shown in slanted brackets butter Phonetic transcriptions that indicate the manner of articulation are shown in square brackets. Here, for example, is how butter might be said by a Cockney Londoner. Butter. Using a glottal stop, huh, which closes the vocal cords. Let's have a look at another vowel position. So what is the difference? The tongue is very high, the front of the tongue is up towards the hard palate, here, okay? Still the air is, is unrestricted, the velum is much closer to the uh, back wall of the, uh, the pharynx, the nasopharynx as we call it here, this space. So. We have here the position of the vowel E, as in heel. There will be some connection with the nasal cavity, but it won't constitute a nasal sound. Here we now go to another. The tongue position is very high at the back. And we have here the, the vowel sound OO, as in the word FOOL. Again, the velum is almost closed off. Now, I just want to show you, I showed the start of voice here. Now that this sound is coming up from the vocal cords, the wonderful magic of resonance starts in these spaces above the vocal cords and these sound waves bouncing around and uh, resonating this is what all this blue is so you'll notice this on on the future pictures it's a, the vowel R the velum is still slightly open and there is some re resonating connection between the nose and the, and the mouth. So that is just a quick overview of the vowels. Now with the vowels, there is no blocking of the air in the vocal tract. There's no actual blocking. But now we're going to see a series of sounds caused by articulation where the uh, organs of the mouth will actually block or restrict the passage of the air.